Hello everyone and welcome. In this video I will try and show you how I repaired the mill head left to right or tilt adjustment mechanism. This system mainly comprises of one warm gear that is attached to the RAM adapter with two bolts and is securely aligned using two double pins and one warm which is fitted onto warm shaft with a key and lives in the mill head assembly. Somehow I managed to break both the RAM adapter and the mill head sides of this system which was a big surprise to the store associates. My theory is that the warm gear fasteners and double pins got sheared or severely weakened during shipping where I drove the truck very carefully and counted almost all potholes on the road. In the end, all it was supported by is just few layers of cardboard. When I tried to set the mill head straight for the first time, the gear got completely loose and stuck against its housing, putting extra stress on the warm shaft, which in turn just gave. And that's how you break both ends of the mechanism. I followed a very useful advice of the tool store associate and used the mill table to support mill head for disassembly and repair. If you think that I was done breaking the mill, think again. At some point it got quite intense when I lost control and the mill head swung and basically free fell and hit the corner of the milling vise with the motor fan cover. It looks like it poked a hole in it, too. Thank goodness it's just a cover. When the mill head was detached from the RAM adapter, I was faced with a challenge to remove all the broken pieces. Luckily, bolts and double pins didn't give me much trouble and few holes drilled into them and a super strong neodymium magnet did the trick. Original bolts were grade 8.8 .8 and double pins look like some mediocre carbon steel. I was able to drill into them without much effort. Not good. New 12.9 grade bolts and much stronger double pins are going to serve for many years to come. The real struggle started when I tried to extract the worm shaft itself at first, where nothing seemed to help until some oil and elbow grease was added. Next, the broken off piece needed to come out. This one of course had to be the hardest one to tackle. I tried to get it out using different techniques and tools and nothing helped. I ended up tapping few turns of M6 thread and using longest screw I had to pull that piece of shaft out. Finally, the best persuasion 
the muscle power had prevailed. And it was time to put everything back together. First, I filed down a couple of high spots on the flange that got there from me swinging hammer around. And apply it back the original grease, or at least what's left of it. I'm reusing the original drilled and tapped key for this shaft. An extra jam set screw is added. Using mill table as a support for the mill head is such a good idea. It is very easy to maneuver the mill head back in place. Once jam nuts are started on studs, the support can be withdrawn. And the mill head can go up in working vertical position. I am being very careful this time and helping the mill head by pushing it up with one hand while cranking on the worm shaft with the other. If you're still here, I want to thank you for watching. Please help this channel grow by subscribing and sharing. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment if you have any suggestions. Please also consider supporting me, links are in the description. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.